Hello, Dylan. Today is January 7th, 2013, and congratulations on a pretty decent video. Even though it was your second time going back to New Orleans, I'm going to give you an A-, because even though you didn't have new footage of the French Quarter, I got more detail, which is what I was asking for, even if it was just you telling me what happened, which is what's really important. Now, don't get me wrong, I still want to see more video next time, but good job. Now, before I can talk about your day, I'm going to have to acknowledge your mission issuing. Okay, first and foremost, Samwise accepts your petty quest of commerce, and he will be victorious. Uh, but besides from that, Dylan, I know you're not much of a graphic artist, but seriously, you have Adobe Creative Suite 5. You couldn't have whipped together an explosion of some kind. Dylan, for next week's challenge, I'm going to challenge you to make an explosion graphic, I swear to God. Now, I know I asked you for more detail and visual footage on your video, so I guess I'm kind of being a hypocrite today because I don't have a whole lot to show you. But that's because my day wasn't the kind of day that was conducive to showing video and giving extreme detail. It was a different kind of day, a different kind of day than we've been having before. Dylan, my mom, is very, very sick. She's got a virus, she's got bacterial infections, she's got bronchitis, she's got all kinds of illnesses. She's not doing very well. Today she was very upset because she couldn't do a whole lot, because she was so sick and she was feeling ill. She didn't have the strength to do anything. So today I spent most of my day helping my mom out. I did go to the grocery store and pick up my brother and help clean the house and that kind of thing. She was very appreciative of my help and um, it was one of those moments where you really do feel like an adult. These are the kind of moments that make you feel more like an adult than graduating high school will or turning 18 will or starting college ever will. Those moments where you get to take care of your parents instead of the other way around, those are the moments you start to feel like an adult. Dylan, today was an important day because today I felt like an adult. Even though my day wasn't fun and exciting and didn't involve sword fights and laser beams and rap battles, I think today was still time well spent. Dylan, you mentioned our good friend uh, Mike Jones. He's a close personal friend of ours from high school. You mentioned his vlog in your um, video, but you failed to provide a link in the doobly-doo. Can I call it a doobly-doo? Dylan, I'm so used to hearing Hank and John call it a doobly-doo that I kind of forgot what it was actually called. I think I'm just going to make up my own name for it. Words Box. I'm going to call it a Words Box. Check out Mike Jones' blog in the Word Box. Dylan, I'm a certified adult. Mike has slipped up as of late and hasn't made a video in a while. And so, like the Vlogbrothers, when he breaks his own rules, he gives himself punishments. Now, Dylan, Mike has invited us to concoct his punishment. From my understanding of his video, we both get to punish him. So, Mike Jones, this is your punishment. Mike, for the next three days, Wednesday the 9th, Thursday the 10th, and Friday the 11th, Anytime anybody says any word, including you, that pertains in any way to theater, you must respond immediately with, Oh, what a good boy I am. That means the word rehearsal, auditorium, prop, theater, anything like that, anything related, you have to respond with, Oh, what a good boy I am, immediately. Mark and Eric, you guys have to enforce this. If you guys ever catch him not saying, oh, what a good boy I am, after one of these words, I authorize you to give him a super deluxe ultra noogie. Also, Mike, I'm going to want some documentation of this. I expect you or Mark or Eric to record you responding in such a way to such words and posting them in one of your videos. Nay, I demand it. Mike, may the gods be in your favor.